Blackbeard, the channel where we, we explore the world's most pressing issues and uncover the peerless of wisdom hidden within. I'm here, I am your host, Aschal Ozba, and today we are diving into a topic that affects, uh, that affects us all, climate change. From its cause and effects to what we can do about it and uh, we will cover it all so let's get started first what exactly is climate change climate change refers to long-term shifts in the average weather patterns that define earth's climate this includes change in temperature precipitation wind and other factors but what is causing these changes let's break it down the primary driver of climate change is the greenhouse effect, a natural process where certain gases in the atmosphere trap heat from the sun, warming the earth. The problem, human activities have significantly increased the concentration of these greenhouse gases, including carbon dioxide, methane, ni nitrous oxide, uh, chlorinated gases. So. When we say carbon dioxide, it is released from burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and the industrial process. When we say methane, emitted by livestock uh, natural gas leaks and landfills. Uh, the other one is nit uh, nitrous oxide, released from agriculture and industrial activities. Fluorinated gases, which is, uh, which is from industrial chemicals used in manufacturing. These gases are thickening Earth's blanket, so trapping more heat and causing global temperatures to rise. So while the greenhouse effect is natural, human activities are accelerating at an alarming rate. This brings us to the effects of climate change. The effects of climate change are already being felt worldwide. Here are some key impacts. The first one is global warming. Earth's average temperature is rising, leading to more heat waves. The second one is sea level rise. Melting glaciers and icy sheets are causing ocean strides, threatening coastal communities. The third one is extreme weather. More frequent and intense hurricanes, uh, floods and droughts. The fourth one is biodiversity loss. Ecosystems are being disrupted, leading to habitat loss and species extinction. The fifth one is ocean acidification. Increased carbon dioxide absorption is making oceans more acidic, harming marine life. The sixth one is human health. Heat-related illness respiratory problems and the spread of diseases like malaria are on the rise. The seventh one is food security. Changes in weather patterns are affecting agriculture, making it harder to grow crops. The, the eighth one is economic consequences. Infra infrastructure damage, industry disruptions, and the rising costs are Mm, straining economies. These effects are interconnected and they are happening faster, uh, faster than many of us realize. But there is hope, let's talk about what's being done globally to address this crisis. Climate change is a global problem and it requires a uh, global solution. Here are some key international efforts. The first one is the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, a treaty to address climate change. The second one is the Kyoto Protocols, uh, committed industrialized nations to reduce greenhouse gas emission. The third one is the Paris Agreement, a landmark deal aiming to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees centigrade above pre-industrial levels. This agreement shows that the world is waking up to the urgency of climate change. But what we can we do on a local and individual level? Let's explore. To tackle climate change, we need two approaches, mitigation and adaptation. Mitigation focuses on reducing greenhouse gas emission. Key strategies include 
shifting to renewable energy like solar, wind, and hydro, uh, improving energy efficiency in buildings, transportation, and industry, using carbon capture and storage to trap carbon dioxide emission, and uh, also we can plant trees through reforestation and afforestation to, in order to mitigate. The other one is adaptation. Adaptation involves adjusting to the effects of climate change. This includes better, uh, better uh, well, water management to combat droughts, um, developing drought resistant crops for agriculture, building a resilient infrastructure to withstand extreme weather, and the last one is protecting coastal areas from rising sea levels. These strategies are not just theoretical, they are being implemented right now, including here in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is highly vulnerable to climate change, facing challenges like frequent droughts, heavy, heavy rainfall, and the threats to food security and biodiversity. But Ethiopia is also taking bold steps to address these issues. The first one is the National Adaptation Plan of Action, focuses on climate re re resilience, and the Climate Resilient Green Economy Strategy aims to build a sustainable economy. And also, uh, the Green Legacy Initiatives has, pl uh, has planted millions of trees to combat deforestation. Uh, lastly, we have the Great Ethiopian re Renaissance Dam, uh, will provide clean energy and uh, re, uh, reduce re, uh, re, uh, reliance on fossil fuels. This effort shows that Ethiopia is not just a victim of climate change. It is a leader in the fight against it. And that's a wrap on UNICEF's climate change. We have covered the causes, effects, and solutions, both globally and here in Ethiopia. Remember, climate change is a challenge we all face, but it's also an opportunity to come together and create a better future. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Blackpill for more insightful content. Let me know in the comments, what steps are you taking to fight climate change? Thank you, thank you for watching and uh, until next time, stay, stay curious and uh, keep shining. This is Aschalo Azba, signing off.